Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking roast rabbit and potatoes. So let's begin. So the first thing that we'll do is to grab a large bowl and we'll add about um, 8 to 10 tablespoons of olive oil. We'll add in some salt, about a teaspoon. We'll sprinkle in or grind in some black pepper. No set amount, so as much or as less as you like. And we'll also put in a teaspoon of sweet paprika. Sweet smoked paprika. And we'll just give this a mix so we can blend everything in. Right, that's done. So on to the next step. Which will be to cut the potatoes up nice large sort of cubes and we'll put them all in the dressing. Oops, they're a bit smaller, doesn't matter. I'm using about five large potatoes, largest, but you can use, there's no set amount, it's whatever you want to eat, you know, or if you're cooking for four people. I love my potatoes, so I add quite a few. Next, I've got three cloves of garlic, and I'm just going to cut them in half, and also add them to that. I've got a small to medium onion. I'll cut it into four pieces. Also chuck it in there. I've got one pepper, some sort of large, medium to large. And I'll also cut it up into sort of um, large pieces really. Let's cut it again, like that roughly, and we'll also add that in. The pepper is optional. I've just got quite a few in the in the fridge, so it's a good idea to. That's what I thought anyway to add it here, especially as I like them roasted. be here dinner for about two days or three. Right that's sorted let's clear this up. So I've got a bunny here this weighs four grams short of 900 grams and it, it costs six euro 76 which is 7.55 a kilo. So let's get the bunny out It's whole, you can buy it in pieces already cut, but basically it costs more. The first thing I'm going to do, because we don't eat it, is to behead the bunny. There are people that like to eat it, because it's got, you know, a lot of um, meat in the bones. Look at that. Hello, my name is Roger. Hey. Quite hard. Let's cut it in half. Ah, it's also got the kidneys there. I'm gonna get them out because we don't eat them. And it also comes in with um, with the liver in a bag separately. 
but I won't show you that and we don't need that either this is a bit hard let's see uh, let's chop it in half here <coughs> hard isn't it right Oh, that cracks. Have a look. Right, don't want the bones in. So we'll cut it into into some pieces. You know, it's however you like it, really. And as I said, you can buy it already in in pieces. Cause it's making out of breath nearly. I will put it in there as well. Chuck it all in there too. So let's um, sort this bunny out. Now what we have to do is mix everything in, get it all nicely marinated. If you feel queasy about using your hands, get a pair of latex gloves or do it with a couple of spoons, which is what I usually do, but I don't know what made me do this with my hands today. That's it nicely marinated then we'll get an oven baking dish and I'm going to put some what do you call it oven paper oven baking paper just so that it doesn't stick just in case you know and I'm going to preheat the oven to 220 degrees I'll put the Fahrenheit up here somewhere. Can't remember what it is. So once the oven is hot, I'll add all this onto the tray. Let's get all the marinade in there. So we'll spread it out nicely. And we'll put it in the oven. Well, first, I'll turn the oven down to to two hundred degrees, which is uh, three ninety Fahrenheit, I think. So that's nicely spread, I think. And now, in the oven, it goes for half an hour. Well, so once the 30 minutes are up, we'll take it out of the oven and we'll mix it all about. Lovely, that's what I like about this paper. It doesn't stick. And we'll chuck it back in the oven for another 30 minutes. Well, so after another 30 minutes, lunch is ready. What do you think? So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.